Hi everyone, welcome to Staveland. Now, we got a number of fun things to show you about how we make the puzzles. You know, we've never really shown anybody how we craft the puzzles, but you know, it's 2012, we've been doing it 38 years, it's about time we gave you a, a kind of an inside look. We give you a little bit of a look here in Staveland, but today we're gonna show you the whole thing. So first, we're gonna go outside and show you how we get the wood. And where do you go to get the wood for the puzzles? right out back here. So off I go here to cut down another tree for our puzzles. Okay, now we've got the wood. And I'm gonna take this inside, we're gonna plane it down a quarter inch thickness, and then off we go to make puzzles. Okay, we're ready to roll here. We got the plain wood. Isn't it beautiful? Don't we do great work here? We got the image. Someone's ordered this. So we have to get this glued down to the wood in order to, uh, to take it the next step. But I have to be careful here because it can get messy because it's glue and it gets smelly and it gets all over the place sometimes, uh, So as I've learned over the years. So here I got. I got, my, I got my hazmat mask and my outfit here. I got the print. I got the wood. Now, off we go. I'm going to pour on the, the glue here. Then, rub it all around like this. That's why I got the rubber gloves on. Then, then, this is very, this is very, I just get it out to the edge there. Then, I glue it down. I'm going to roll it down like this. Then, my right hand, oh, look at that. I said, left hand, we roll up. This is special made roller for puzzles. So here it is. We roll it all over the place like this. Get it down nice and flat. Then, then, of course, you know, there still could be some bubbles in there. So uh, we've got to put some books on it. So let's see if I can do this. So here we got get some books here. And we've got some books over here. Now, we're going to let that sit for a little bit. I want to check to see if it's working. You know, normally they don't let me do this because I screw it up so much. But let's see if I did it right this time. Ah, maybe, maybe they would find this acceptable. I, I don't see any bubbles. Everything looks great. Whoa. Uh, so now, you know what? It's ready to take the edge off the puzzle, off the image. So... That's what I'm going to do now, and watch carefully, because I'm going to take my coping saw here. Okay, now I'm about to broke through here. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Ah! I think I did pretty good, don't you? Okay, now i got to finish up the rest here. i got to take the edge off here, take the edge off here, take the edge off here. And then we're ready to cut it into pieces. So I won't bore you with the rest, but see you at the next stage here. Okay, all right, this is it. Ah, look at that, look at that, guys. Not too bad, huh? Okay, now the difficult part here. I'm gonna draw three shapes in here, three silhouette shapes, and then I gotta cut them out. Now, normally, the gang, the gals in the shop, do this freehand, but I need a little help. Okay, then we got this. We got the frog, the clown, and the fly. Flies goes froggy. Flies. Now I'm going to cut the, the bottom part here, and okay, guys, I got the bottom third of the puzzle all cut. And let me tell you, this is a lot of work. I'm not used to this work, man. I I think of it. I used to do this, and I got the clown here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think so. This is the frog. I think it looks pretty good. It's got four fingers, not three like the con. So, I think this looks great. Not bad, but let me tell you, man, I'm getting tired. But I got a, I got two more parts to do. Uh, let me start cutting the middle part so I can get the clown here. Then we get the middle part done. Okay, here we go. Ow! Look at this thing that came off here. I wonder, oh man, how what am I going to tell Martha? I wonder if they can sew it back on. Let me see, twitch around. Oh man, 
Oh, I think I'm in a little bit of trouble. This is a little a little bump in the road here. And I tell you, man, I am exhausted. But, you know, look, look at this. At least when the MTs were coming, I got the clown cut out of the puzzle. So not too bad. So I still got one third of the puzzle left. So somehow I got to figure out how to do this. And I got to get the uh, fly. I think that's a fly there. So I got to go work on this puzzle right now. But, man, I'm tired. I'm beat. This has been a lot more work uh, and a lot more dangerous than I had realized. Boy, am I glad this thing is finally done. This has been a labor of love and a little painful one, too. So I can't wait to get this over to finishing so that I can finally get this thing out of here. So enjoy the sneak peek of, the, of uh, puzzles here. Uh, I mean, this is a rare progress. We don't do this very often. So I, uh, you know, I hope you got a kick out of it. Uh, and if you can't make it up here to Staveland, up here in Vermont, I hope that you can go to our website, stavepuzzles.com, our Facebook page, or stavepuzzlenuts.com. Ah!